What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am so excited because we are doing our 2022 yearly favorites. I love to do these every single year. I don't do a ton of favorites videos throughout the year on my channel and I do a lot of like testing new product videos. So I love to do these yearly favorites where I can give you a roundup of like, this is the best stuff that I tried all year that I have been reaching for over and over again throughout the entire year. There were so many good products that launched this year. It was actually really hard for me to like narrow everything down into categories. I'm gonna combine everything into one video. So originally I was going to kind of split it up and do like a drugstore and then a high end, but I'm just going to do everything in one video. So y'all better buckle up. This is probably going to be a long one. So maybe grab a glass of wine, a diet Coke, some sparkling water, whatever you like, and let's chat best of beauty 2022 together. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can notify of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So I'm going to do this in order of how I would apply it to my face. We're going to start with primer. In this category, I didn't have too, too many. I'm gonna try not to talk too much about each individual product because I have like literally, if you guys could see in front of me, oh my God, 100 products that I wanna talk about in today's video. So I'm gonna try not to chat too much. These are the first two that I have for primer. First, we have the Cali Ray So Blown Primer. I love a good pore filling primer. I have a lot of enlarged pores and texture and this one really smoothed it over like no other. Did not cause me to break out and is somehow hydrating at the same time. A lot of pore filling primers are kind of like mattifying as well and although they kind of make my skin look smooth it also makes it look dry this one doesn't do that I love it so good it's a newer brand at Sephora and this was definitely a standout product for me I used it so many times this year I also want to give mention to the say star glow also a newer brand to Sephora this is so stunning it's like the prettiest little glow product I'll put a little bit of on my hand to show you guys it comes in two different colors this one is the sun glow i use this one sometimes but i use the lighter one sometimes too but it's like a gel type product and just gives the prettiest glow so i like to use this before i go in with like foundation just to give a really pretty healthy glow to the skin um or sometimes i will just wear it completely on its own if i'm just doing a no foundation day so definitely standout product for me as well and now last but certainly not least in the primer category i didn't know what exactly category to put this in because it could be a primer it could be a foundation it could be a liquid highlight technically, but y'all already knew. Of course, we have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is probably my favorite product to come out of 2022 entirety. Like this is so good. e.l.f. absolutely killed it on this. Ever since the first time I tried this, I have just nonstop been using it. I absolutely love it. You get a nice big doe foot applicator. It gives the prettiest glow to your skin. I honestly prefer it to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is what a lot of people compare this to like as a dupe, but I honestly like the e.l.f. one better. It gives a beautiful coverage, can be worn underneath foundation as a primer on its own on your skin. If you haven't tried it, you need to. I'm pretty sure they have it back in stock now, so I will link it down below. I'll have everything linked down below, like the whole list where you guys can find all this stuff. But this is honestly probably my favorite product to come out of 2022 in its entirety. All right, moving on to foundation, we have quite a few. I have a lot of foundations and concealers. I feel like 2022 in general for me was definitely like the year of the complexion products. I got so much more excited over complexion products this year, whether it be foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer, than I did over like eye products, where in years past, I feel like eyeshadow palettes were always like the star of the show, where this year I was definitely way more excited about like the new complexion products that were coming out. There was so many good ones that came out this year. Okay, I'm not going in any particular order either. I'll do the high-end ones first and then we'll do the drugstore. So this is a newer favorite to me, but oh my goodness gracious, this is so good. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is stunning on the skin. This is gonna give you a full coverage finish. It will cover up literally anything and just looks perfect on your skin, but is not like super matte at all. It is called the soft glow, but I wouldn't say that it really gives a glow to your skin. It's just like a natural finish. Looks like your natural skin, but perfect. Like that's literally what it looks like. So, so good. Another product that I have used nonstop, you can see this is, and this is not even the first one that I went through of this. And this came out this year. This is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. So good. If you're looking for an everyday glowy tinted moisturizer, CC cream type product, look no further than this. It's stunning. It has SPF in it, a lot of skincare benefits. I believe it's like 90% skincare or something, but somehow also gives a beautiful coverage. I know their other CC creams are very popular products, but in my opinion, this is by far the best one. I love it so much got so much use out of it. And I use this pretty much every single day in the summer and honestly still use it now as we move into cold weather. It's stunning. And last but not least for high-end foundation, we have the Makeup Forever HD Skin. So pretty. Basically what I was trying to do is this is like your full coverage. This one is like 
although it technically still does give a really good coverage, like the lighter product, cause it's a CC cream and not like a foundation. This one is kind of the middleman. For those of you who are looking for something that's more like a medium coverage, again, also looks like natural skin, but better, wears beautifully throughout the day. It is the Makeup Forever HD Skin. The original Makeup Forever HD foundation was never like a holy grail product of mine. This one is like a, oh my God, you need it. It also comes in so many different colors and undertones that there should hopefully be a shade for every single person in this to be able to try and use on their skin. Just so, so good. Looks great, wears great. Definitely a quality staple. You'll love it. For drugstore foundations, I have these two. These are definitely my two most used from the drugstore this year. I don't know if either, I think both of these might've come out this year or if not, maybe in like 2021, I'm not 100% sure, but 2022 was definitely the year where I started using both of these heavily. It's the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. Again, if you're looking for that everyday lighter product, this is it looks beautiful on the skin, is super hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid in it, blends like a dream, but wears nicely on the skin. A lot of lighter products like this in the past that I had tried just wear horribly on the skin. And then in two hours, it looks like you have nothing on your face. This isn't gonna do that. It's a beautiful product. I love it. And it does give a good coverage, although it's still super lightweight and hydrating to the skin. Now, if you want full coverage, Look no further than this. This is matte, full coverage, long lasting. Your skin is going to look perfect until the moment that you take it off. Like literally, I think you could leave this on your skin for like two days and it would still look really good. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. So good. I'm a full coverage queen at heart. Even though I embraced more of the dewy lighter coverage this year, I will always love a full coverage, flawless face. And this is gonna give that to you. And it's so affordable. You can literally get this online sometimes on Amazon for like five bucks. It's so good. If you want full coverage, long lasting, matte, look no further than this. You'll love it. All right, up next, let's move on to concealers. Now I have a couple that are just like old OG favorites that I have to give like homage to in the video because they were still products that I used so many times throughout this year. We have the Hourglass Vanish Concealer, absolutely beautiful, stunning, full coverage, but a little bit more of a luminous finish. It's not super matte, hydrating to the under eyes, very beautiful. We, of course, have the e.l.f. camo, OG full coverage matte, and we have its basically like high-end counterpart, which is the Tarte Shape Tape, which you guys know will forever and always be a favorite of mine. I use this a little bit less on my under eyes this year. I still use it on my under eyes a lot, but I always use this if I'm trying to cover up a blemish on my skin. There, To me, there's just nothing that covers better and lasts longer than this. I do like the e.l.f. camo as well. I do think Tarte works a little bit better. It's super full coverage. It'll cover anything up and more and is so good and was still heavily used by me this year. But I do have three new concealers concealers that I also loved this year. So we have the Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is super brightening and hydrating to the under eyes. It looks beautiful. It's more of like a medium coverage, so it's not gonna give you a full coverage, but the brightness that it gives mixed with that medium coverage just gives the most flawless look to your under eyes. It lasts really well, it doesn't crease, isn't gonna make your under eyes dry. I really, really like this. It definitely was a standout product for me this year. Also really loved the Wet n Wild Incognito. This is a full coverage concealer. It's matte, but it's not gonna dry out your skin. It's literally under $5. Like most times you can find it for like four dollars and some change so good and i also want to give mention to the nyx bear with me concealer serum this was another favorite of mine this year it looks really beautiful on the under eyes it is more of a medium coverage but it gives a nice brightness and hydration to your under eyes the only thing that stops me from using this as much as i would is i don't love the packaging on it it's a pump top packaging i would much rather it be a doe foot it just gets messy and sometimes you pump out too much and it can be a little bit more wasteful so i just don't love the packaging on this but the actual concealer itself is really really good and and I definitely reached for it a lot this year. Okay, next let's jump into blushes and bronzer. So I'll do bronzers first. I have mostly cream bronzers. Honestly, this year I embraced cream products so much. In the past, I was so much more of a powder product girl, but having dry skin, I've realized that a lot of cream products end up actually looking better on my skin. Um, and I have just been loving them. So most of my picks are cream, but I do have a powder for bronzer as well. So let's start with drugstore in this category. Two that stood out to me this year, e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I don't think this came out this year. This was around last year too. I think it was probably my last year's favorites as well. One of my absolute favorites from the drugstore and probably my most used drugstore cream bronzer. Great if you want to bronze up the skin, but can also be used to contour as well because they are matte blends like a dream and a beautiful product. I also really fell in love with the Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm. So Soul is like a sister brand to ColourPop. They're all sold on ColourPop's website, so you can get it there. Um, and this is such a good dupe for that really high-end Chanel cream bronzer. It's absolutely beautiful. You literally get so much product too. Like I used this so many times. It doesn't even look like I made a dent in it. It will literally probably last you like years if you got it. Lends like a dream, beautiful on the skin. You can use it on your face and on your body if you want to. Just gives the prettiest bronzy glow. It is scented. It has kind of like a coconutty scent to it and just so, so good. Like you will love it. 
it if you haven't tried it. Just beautiful. From high end, we of course, you all already know my love for this Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer. This was literally the bronzer I think that made me like go to the cream side. I was like, oh, cream bronzers aren't so bad. Like, cause this just blends like an absolute dream. It's stunning, lasts really well, does not pick up your foundation underneath, was definitely a very heavily used product for me this year. Another product that I slept on for way too long and have recently been using a ton is this Rare Beauty bronzer stick. I don't think I disliked it the first time that I tried it, but I don't think I realized how good this actually really is. This blends like absolute butter, looks so natural, but you can chisel out your face with this. I know it's called a bronzer stick, but I like to use it to contour and I'll just go in and draw it on my cheeks, I actually use it on my cheeks today, draw it on and it blends out with a brush in like five seconds or with a sponge, either way, but this is really, really good and I slept on it for too long. I feel like everybody else knew that it was really good and I just didn't use it that much and I've recently been using it so much. It's absolutely amazing. And last but not least, I had to throw in this powder bronzer because I use this so much, whether it's to just contour out my face or I use it on my eyes a lot to contour out my eyes. I use it to do my nose contour. It is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer. I absolutely love this. Mine is so dirty, but it is well used and well loved. These come in a bunch of different shades. I just have shade medium here. This is the one that I typically use. It's matte. It is really great to chisel out the face. And whenever I'm using a cream product, any of the cream products that I mentioned, I do always like to go in with some sort of powder bronzer to set everything. And this is always typically my go-to. This year is just absolutely beautiful. Blends really nicely. It doesn't look muddy and was a definite favorite. All right, up next we have blushes. Oh my goodness, all of my picks are cream blushes because I just could not get enough of them this year. So, so good. So one product I have to give a shout out to because this is such a, I feel like every Charlotte Tilbury product that comes out is super heavily duped. And a lot of times the dupes are pretty good. You know, they're, they're pretty close. This is one where I feel like I haven't found really a dupe that can dupe this so I can justify the price of buying this because I'm like, anything I've tried is not exactly the same as the beautifulness that this is. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. This is in the shade Pinkgasm. It's so pretty. This was probably my most used blush this year. I don't love the packaging. It's like this little dot and I brought it on the plane and forgot to close it and exploded. So that's a whole nother situation, but you just dot it on, blend it out and it gives the prettiest glow. It's like pink, but with like gold and just looks so stunning on the skin. So I have to give a shout out to that because I absolutely love it. These rare beauty blushes, I don't know how they did this. These are the most pigmented blushes I've ever tried in my life. If you buy one of these, I'm pretty sure you'll have it for your entire life because you literally only need like the smallest dot of this and it just blends out so pigmented, it's insane. So I love that about them. You really do, although they're expensive, you're gonna get a bang for your buck because this will literally last you for like ever. They blend really easily. They come in really beautiful colors. This one in the shade Hope was definitely heavily used by me. It's like a light pink shade, but the formula on these in general is just absolutely fabulous. So have to give shout out to that. Very similar type product is um, one of the drugstore ones that I love. This is the Profusion Blush Hour Blushes. I'm actually wearing this one in the shade Paloma today on my cheeks. It's like a pretty red, again, another product where you need the tiniest dab of this and it's gonna be still so pigmented and just blend beautifully. And these are like four or $5. And the little applicators are just so cute on them. I love it. So I absolutely loved these this year. You can get them at Walmart um, or obviously Profusion on their website. The NARS liquid blushes, I also really love. This one is so, so pretty. It's in the shade Orgasm, which is like their signature shade, which I do love the powder version of that. And I used that a lot this year, but the liquid version is just so beautiful and blends like a dream. The only thing that I don't love about it is also this pump top. I just don't love the pump top on really anything besides foundation because it can get messy and a lot of times one pump is really too much product than you need because this is super pigmented. So I wish the packaging was different, but I love it. It's beautiful and I still use it a ton. And last, but certainly not least, y'all already knew this was coming, the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blushes. I love them. I love the putty blushes. Pretty sure those were in my favorites from last year. Those are absolutely stunning, but the luminous ones just bring it to a whole new level. They're so pretty. They give a beautiful glow to the skin, blend like a dream, super affordable, and just so, so pretty. So probably my favorite cream blush of the entire year were the new e.l.f. Luminous Putties, and this one is in the shade... Belize. I really, honestly, I loved all the shades in them and I use them all, so absolutely stunning. Okay, up next for powders, I only have two because if there's not a product that I really think can fit into, like this was a favorite of mine that I used so much, I'm not just gonna like throw it in the video, you know what I mean? Like these are really truly products that I was using every single day, time after time, and it was these two. This Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder, I don't know what they put in here, but it is so good. I love it. I use it to set my under eyes. I use it to set all over my face. It's absolutely stunning. Blurs the skin, sets your face, makes it look like you don't have any pores or imperfections and does not dry the skin out. Just absolutely beautiful. Comes in a bunch of different shades. So 
I can get a lighter shade for my under eyes and a darker shade for the rest of my face. I just absolutely love this. Another favorite of mine though, this is just specifically for my under eyes, but this is this Laura Mercier. This is their translucent loose setting powder, the tone up version. I have trouble sometimes finding this. I feel like they don't have this one everywhere, but this is the rose in their tone up. So it's a very light, Pink. It almost looks like their regular translucent loose powder, but it has a slight pink tint to it. And to set the under eyes looks absolutely beautiful. It's super brightening, sets everything really nicely. It's gonna make sure your concealer doesn't crease, but it won't dry out your under eyes. So I definitely really liked that for my under eyes as well. But these were truly the two powders that stood out to me as like the best of this year. So I just didn't wanna throw in like another powder just to have like a drugstore version or whatever, because these two powders really just blew me away and I think are definitely worth the money. Um, so I wanted to include them. Now on the contrary, when it comes to mascara, I only have drugstore options this year because these two mascaras are so, so good. Like oh, just insane and honestly beat out any high-end one that I had tried. So these are my absolute favorites, my two most used. We have the Maybelline Sky High, love this, long lengthened separated lashes, and then the Milani Anti-Gravity. This is gonna curl your lashes, give them a little bit of volume, give them length, separate them just so, so well. These two are just absolutely fabulous. I would say if you're really looking for length and separation, get the Sky High if you want some length, but also some volume, get the Milani Anti-Gravity. Or sometimes I use both of them. And let me tell you, it's a combo that is gonna make your lashes look so, so good. So these were definitely my two most heavily used mascaras in 2022, just so stinking good. I almost just skipped over brows, but I do have brow products for you guys to share as well. I have two clear brow gels that I heavily use this year. One is the Joa Brow Down To Me Brow Setter. This is just a clear brow gel, works really well. It's gonna set your brows in place, but it's not gonna give them like that crunchy look or change the color of them or anything. And the same goes for this one from Makeup By Mario. This is the Master Hold Brow Gel. This is a little bit of a stronger hold than the Joa one. My brows don't need like a super strong hold. This one definitely has a bit of a stronger hold to it. So like your brows are definitely not moving with this. It's also clear. You can run it through and really fluff them up and it doesn't leave them crunchy. Doesn't leave them like a weirdish gray sort of color. Um, both of these are just absolutely fabulous. For tinted brow gel, I have to mention the NYX Thick It Stick It. On days where I don't really feel like doing my brows, I don't wanna do too much to them. I just wanna run a brow gel through. I'll go in with this because it's tinted. It takes like five seconds, so it'll add a little tint to my brows as I'm fluffing them up and make them look a little bit better than just if I have nothing on them at all. And this is really cool because it does have little fibers in it too. So this kind of adds little fibers to your brows to make them look a bit fluffier. If you have more sparser brows like I do, this is really, really nice. I like it better than a lot of the high-end tint brow gels that are out there. And I think this one works great and is really good if you just want something quick to run through your brows. And last but not least for my brows, this is like my most used brow product for the entire year. And I feel like nobody else talks about this, at least not that I've seen, but I feel like a broken record talking about how good this is. This is the DIY brow pen from Tarte. It's like a tiny little pen and I go in and just create little brow strokes with it. And honestly, nothing works as good as this. I absolutely love it. Allows you to define your brows while still keeping them looking natural and not like a block of color because you can just go in. It's very thin and do the little brow strokes. It's just so, so good. And this doesn't budge either. Like this is not coming off until you take your makeup off. Like it's very long wearing as well. So I absolutely love this. Was definitely like my most used brow products of the entire year. I feel like I'm losing my voice. I'm talking so much. I'm not used to talking this much in my videos. You guys are probably at home like, oh my goodness, this girl just keeps on going. But we have so many favorites. I should have got like a glass of water or something, but okay. Up next, we got to talk eyeshadow palettes. So like I said before, when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I feel like this year was the year that I used the least amount of eyeshadow than I probably ever have, like ever. It just didn't excite me as much. And there wasn't many palettes that really stood out to me like, oh my goodness, like you need it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just didn't get super excited over eyeshadow palettes this year, but when I was doing my eyeshadow, these were the two that I was reaching for the most. I love ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, so a lot of their palettes were the ones I was reaching for, because in my opinion, they make the best palettes, especially for the price. And they come out with a new palette every single day, so it's hard to keep up, I'm always trying new ones, and they all have like different color stories, so depending on what color you want would be what palette you would grab for, but this was definitely one that stood out to me that I did reach for, and that was the ColourPop Set in Stone palette. So just a neutrals palette, you get mattes and shimmers. I use this a lot, even if I was just grabbing for like one shade to add to my crease and a little bit of shimmer or something was definitely a go-to palette that I grabbed for. And another one that was a go-to palette for me was the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. This is a pricier palette and there are definitely dupes out there for it from the drugstore, but I did reach for this one as well because it's a full matte palette. So even if I was using like another eyeshadow palette with like a shimmer that I liked or something like that, I would go in with this for a lot of those neutral mattes to build up in the crease or like as an eyeliner. Definitely a staple palette to have that I did grab for a lot this year. So I did want to mention these two, but like I said, there wasn't like a lot of 
eyeshadow palettes that really stood out to me this year as like revolutionary. I would love down below in the comments if there was an eyeshadow palette that you tried this year that you were like, this was so good. I loved it and I used it so much. Comment it down below so I can check it out because I would love to hear. I wanna get out of like my eyeshadow rut and try new palettes in the new year, definitely. For eyeliner, the only one that I had of note that I wanted to talk to you guys about was this Kiss Lash Glue Liner. This is so good. I don't know why we didn't really have lash glue liners up until like the past like year or so. At least I had never tried one until I tried this. It's basically a black eyeliner, but it also has lash glue in it. So you can just draw on your liner and then pop on your lashes right to the liner and it's so, so easy. So I use this pretty much every single time that I was doing my like full out makeup when I was using lashes. I was always using this. I didn't use like any other lash glue. It's so good. They have it in a brown shade now. They have it in a clear shade if you don't wanna do like a black liner, but definitely a favorite product. I've repurchased it so many times and I love it. All right, all we have left are highlighters and lippies. So for highlights, y'all already know I love these Wet n Wild blush lighters. These are so pretty. They come in a bunch of different shades. I just grabbed this one to show you guys. This is one that I use the most. I'll put the shade in the description because they changed the shade names on these. So they're different than when I originally bought them, but Wet n Wild in general just makes fabulous highlights. In my opinion, they're the best from the drugstore and you get two different highlights. This one can kind of be used as like a blush topper too if you want to throw it on top of a blush to give a little bit of a sheen. Just so, so pretty and so affordable. Depending on where you get it, you can get this for like under five bucks. So absolutely love that. I also use this Charlotte Tilbury one a lot this year. This is the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. This is actually what I have on my cheeks today. It's a little bit more of like an icy highlight, but really, really pretty. And I also really liked the Benefit Cookie Highlight, which is kind of like a pinky champagne highlight, also stunning as well um, and really nice. The Benefit Highlights, the Charlotte Tilbury, they all have, and Wet n Wild, all these brands have really, really beautiful highlights, but those were kind of like my three most grabbed for shades. And last but not least, we have lips and I have a lot of them. So let's, oh wait, actually, and then we do have setting spray. You know what, even, I'll just do the setting spray before we do the lips because it's easy. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter. I, this is my OG, I love it still use it to this day. I think this has been like my favorite, my yearly favorite setting spray for the past, like however many years I've been doing this. It's so good and still is my favorite. So that's setting spray. Now we have lips left. Okay, I gotta grab all these. Cause we have like, you know, different categories of lips. We have lipsticks, lip glosses, lip oils, all the things. Okay, when it comes to lipsticks, we have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This was definitely heavily used by me this year. This is a new one that I am swatching for you guys. And also she has one in the shade Very Victoria, which I cannot find. I don't know where it is, but I also use that a lot, but it's a really pretty pinky mauve. Absolutely love. The formula on these is really nice. They're long lasting but they're not drying to the lips. From the drugstore, Revlon Untold Stories. I'm like a broken record with this, but I love it. It's so pretty. It's similar to Pillow Talk. It's a bit lighter. This is Revlon, that one's Pillow Talk. So I wouldn't necessarily say they're dupes for one another, but this Revlon one is so good. You can get it for like five bucks, sometimes on Amazon. I think it is online only, so I will link it because I don't think you can find it in store, but it's also a matte, long wearing, is not gonna make your lips dry. Absolutely love. now. These, I could literally grab every color from these because these like formula wise were my favorite lipstick for 2022. These are the Milani, they're color fetish lines. It's like the color fetish mattes. So good. Also matte lipsticks, but not drying to the lips, super pigmented. I just grabbed three of my favorite shades to show you guys. But honestly, any of these is really, really good. The first one is Tease, which is right there. It's like a brown. Then we have Pleasure, which this one has a little bit more pinky undertones to it. That's Pleasure right there. And then we have what I have on my lips today, which is shade Poppy, which is a bright red. Put it up top here, right there. But you guys can obviously see it on my lips too. Stunning, stunning, stunning. These are such a good formula long wearing, super pigmented, very creamy, but still matte, just very, very good. So I love those and they're drugstore too. So they're super affordable, which is great. So those were the lipsticks that were my favorite. Now, before we get into lip glosses, I have to give this one like its own little category. These are the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, specifically the lip plump ones. These are like the plumping versions. These are so good. They're kind of like a hybrid, honestly, in between lipstick, lip gloss, and like lip treatment, and also lip plumper with these. I always liked the Maracuja Juicy Lips and they went viral this year on TikTok. They've been around for a while and this year they just really popped off. But these ones, the plump ones specifically, I absolutely love, they're beautiful. This one is in the shade Primrose. I grabbed the wrong one. I think the one I like is called like Orchid something. I'll link it down below. I, I mean, you can't go wrong with any of these. The shades are all really pretty. But formulaized, I absolutely loved these. They look so nice on the lips, but were also super nourishing. So really liked it and it's an all-in-one product. You don't need to use like a lip treatment and a lipstick and a lip gloss all to make one lip. Like this is just one thing and it gives you that same look. 
so really nice. For lip glosses, I had my OG, my Tarte H2O lip glosses. These are still kicking, love these. Shade Sandy Toes is my personal favorite. They come in a bunch of different shades though. Still love these. Those have been like a favorite of mine for the past like 20 years, I feel like, as I've been doing these. Not actually 20 years, but you guys know what I mean. Another favorite of mine that I'm very happy as of when I'm filming this video, it's still available because I thought these were limited edition, but they're still on Physicians Formula's website. They are the Physicians Formula Watermelon Sugar Lip Glosses. These are so good. They give such like a juicy look to the lips. They came in like three different shades, I think, but this one was my most used. This one was in the shade Juicy. Just so pretty and juicy on the lips. I absolutely love them. They came out over the summer and you can still get them. So I'll link them down below, but I don't think they're gonna be around forever, but I love these. So I had to mention it, still use it all the time. Also a newer favorite, but one that I've really been loving is this Pixie Botanical Collagen Lip Gloss. It's just a clear lip gloss, but it has collagen in it and gives just a glossy, juicy look to the lips. I really, really like this. I'll put a little bit of it on right now, actually. Cause I feel like doing all this talking. Most of my lip gloss is coming off. But yeah, just it's clear, but it helps to hydrate the lips and just gives a pretty glossiness to them. And I also need to mention this lip oil. This is from Sigma. This is the Renew Lip Oil in the shade All Heart. So, so good. I feel like lip oils were so popular this year and this one was my personal favorite. Just looks beautiful. It's such a pretty color. It gives a juicy look to the lips, but it's still super hydrating. And it's not like a thin oil that just kind of like wears off really quickly. Like this actually lasts on the lips and looks really, really nice. So this was definitely my most used lip oil absolutely love it. And then last, but certainly not least, when it comes to lip pencils, these ones from Makeup Forever were definitely my most used. Um, they're the artist color pencils. So these can actually be used as lip liners. They can be used as eyeliners, like really anything. I use them mostly for lip liners and they're really good because they will last. Like I'm telling you, like my lip will be gone. Lip liner's still there. These last a really long time and they're great. I love the NYX ones too from the drugstore. I just recently ran out of the one that I love and I don't have a backup to show you guys. The NYX ones are great as well from a drugstore perspective for lip liner. So that is everything guys. I feel like I lost my voice talking this much. Like I said, I know that was a lot. So I will have everything listed it down below in the description box if you guys are like, wait, what did she say? Because I know I've been blabbing for a long time. So if you are still here watching, thank you so much. I love you guys so much. I'm wishing you the happiest 2023 and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.